You're listening to the Cyberwire Network, powered by N2K. Hello, my name is Monica Ruiz, and I am the fellow for the Cyber Initiative and Special Projects Program at the Hewlett Foundation. Early on, I wanted to be a weather woman. And I think that's because in my fifth grade class, I was the person that would give the morning announcements. And so for some reason, I I had an interest in weather and I had an interest in TV. And so that's what I I, I wanted to be. But things have certainly um, changed since then. You know, early on, my parents really encouraged both my two brothers and sister to be curious. And they also never really pushed any gender roles on us. And so as the youngest in the family, I also tended to have um, my brothers and sisters hand me downs. And so I, you know, growing up had a blue bike, which I loved. And I never really associated like blue bike with boys bike or pink bike, with girls bike. I just had my blue bike and I loved it. And, you know, fast forward to college, I developed an interest in international relations. And so I really moved from, you know, TV and, and giving the morning announcements in fifth grade to, to, to more of a you know, broader international relations context. And I studied abroad in China during my bachelor's degree. And that really played a big role in what I did afterwards because it gave me access to a culture and a language that was so different than my own. And so, you know, returning uh, from China to complete my bachelor's degree, I was fascinated with having been, you know, outside of my comfort zone that I graduated and wanted to go right back to Asia. And so I uh, lived in South Korea for a year where I taught English. And there I lived uh, very close to a U.S. Air Force base where I started learning about security policy issues more broadly. And I think that's what started getting me into security, uh, not cybersecurity at that point, but, but security more broadly in the context of international relations. And so, um, you know, returning from Korea, I um, got back to Miami, which is where I grew up, and I started interning and later became a contractor at U.S. Southern Command. And that really allowed me to delve deeper into security policy issues. And one of the things that I noticed there that, you know, I, I had never fully experienced when I was younger is the massive gender imbalances in the security world. And frankly, this really pushed me deeper into this space because, you know, I guess I wanted to to push back on the fact that there weren't that many women and there weren't that many women of color in, in the settings where I was spending a lot of my time. And so not only was I fascinated substantively about these issues, but it also played a very personal role for me to see not that many people that look like me. And so, you know, from there, I realized that that cybersecurity is, is an issue area that's not only vertically relevant within organization, but it really cuts horizontally across all sectors and all regions. And so, you know, building from my time in China and my time in in South Korea and my time in in Boston when I was finishing up my graduate degree, I really um, realized that this is a a field that I want to dive into full time. Currently, you know, my day to day is centered on being a a connector. That's how I would explain it. Uh, You know, we're we're grant makers at the the Hewlett Foundation and we provide support to civil society, university, nonprofits for them to build out their cybersecurity um, areas of focus and teams. But we also try to go beyond the grand dollar by connecting different organizations and individuals that are working on similar issues. And so, A lot of that entails um, understanding what the landscape looks like and um, being aware and 
oftentimes innovative with, with what are the connections that we make to really help build that field even further. Always feel free and open and confident to lean forward, especially on issues that you want to know more about. Don't feel intimidated if there is not that many people that look like you. Have that serve as a reason for why you would be even more forward leaning. I think uh, it's important to make sure that everyone has an opportunity to build our, our, our security and feels comfortable doing so. So I hope that my research on the building of these cybersecurity volunteer cyber units is something that has long term effects. The Hewlett Foundation is a supporter of the CyberWire. Hi, everybody. It's Maria Varmazas here, your host over at T-Minus Space Daily and sometimes a guest on Hacking Humans, too. We here at N2K CyberWire work hard to bring you concise, intelligence-driven news and commentary, and we'd like to know how we're doing. Please take a few minutes to complete our audience survey and share your feedback to help us continue to grow and meet your needs. Visit cyberwire.com slash survey. That's cyberwire.com slash survey to get started. Thanks so much for your input as we reach for the stars. It means the universe to us. Mm-hmm.